company and just stay there. That's how it works. MXL did it. He left his cup. I just want to hear what he has to say. Let's see what he has to say. Fuck all the propaganda. Fuck everything that's going on. Fuck it all. I'm not here to do the war shit. I took advantage of something. UWF and ABW are merging. They're merging. And I was a part of the first step in that merge. Not because I'm a fan of Mr. Sonic, but because in UWF, I never got proper weekly opportunities. So I went to a Tuesday and I decided to pick a fight with a man that was bigger than human life itself. Retrozerk. Why? He's been dominant. He wants fights. He reminds me a lot of myself. He goes there, he fights. He doesn't complain. He's opportunistic. There's your opportunity, bitch. I'm the opportunity, bitch. And I wanted an opportunity, bitch. And McKinnon's got the opportunity, bitch. So, Retrozerk, I know. I know you're confused, you're wondering. What am I doing over there? Why am I not sticking to my own lane? It don't matter anymore. We heard it. The merge is coming. And I want a piece of you. Immediately. I don't care about the merge pay-per-view. I don't care about waiting. Retro Zerk, I'm not a fan of waiting. I'm a fan of fighting immediately. If you have the balls, which you don't. But if you have it in yourself to come here right now and confront the man that just whooped your ass last week. Good lord. Let's fight! Retrozerk, talk is cheap. I don't want to talk anymore. I came there because I took advantage of an opportunity. And if you're Mr. Opportunity, you'd put the microphone down and you'd beat my ass. You'd beat my ass right now, right here tonight in Pittsburgh. You want to fight? Is that what you want? McKinder wants a fight. That's what you want. I have no problem giving you an ass whooping because you got in my lane, my business, my path to something greater. McKinder, that wasn't your show. I'm gonna put on a show with you. I know. Retrozerk. I look at you in the mirror. I look at myself in the mirror and I see a man that power bombs anybody, any size, any time. And I see you fighting midgets, stunning midgets, with your midget ass doctor, with your midget ass professor. And when you have never faced a guy like me in your life, and I'm challenging you to a match immediately. Immediately. You wanna fight? You came to my turf. Fight me on my turf. This Tuesday on Mayhem. I accept your challenge. And I look forward to sending you straight out of the new 2K19 experience. You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't worth shit. 
Retrozerk, I'm not turning heel. I'm not a bad guy. I'm just beating the hell out of a man that has the word opportunistic in tape written marker on his chest. And I'm here to slap that shit off your face and put it on me. Because I deserve every opportunity. I'm the only guy that wants to fight all the time and doesn't have the opportunity to do so. So Retrozerk, you're getting a hand this, this Tuesday. A hand. You picked a hand with something greater and stronger than you. You picked a hand with something that has done more than you ever have in a day. You picked a hand with something that'll just end everything you're trying to do. Ret Retrozerk is going to kill you. How dare you! It's Tuesday! Try and kill me! How dare you! You won't get close! You won't get close! You are far from who you are! You are Retrozerk version what? Four? I'm gonna have to have Dr. Oxley make a fifth one after I'm done with you. When I rip your stupid metal parts off. When I make you look like shit. When I make you feel like shit. Retrozerk, welcome to my home right here. On Tuesday, I go into your home and I barrage into it and I whoop your ass and I drink a beer on top of your cold, well it's already cold, dead body. Retrozerk, you're gonna get your ass kicked, motherfucker! You're a pussy, motherfucker! Damn. Damn! All right, he only came to the ADW because he wanted to fight. And, and he came and picked the fight with the biggest guy. Could have picked the fight with Baskin, but you know. <laughs>